sa mapagpalang araw sa bawat sa sa atin at welcome muli sa ating uh, daily meditations on the words of God medyo matagal tayo pong nawala ano po so uh, naging uh, abala tayo sa mga bagay na dapat natin gampanan so <clears throat> ngayon lang po tayo muli makapaggawa ng video Patungkol po sa pag-aaral natin dito sa aklat ng mga gawa. At pagpapatuloy po natin, tayo po yung nasa Acts chapter number 8. Today is November 1 and uh, it is a Tuesday. So we're still here on Acts chapter 8 covering verse 26 uh, to verse 40. Nawa tayo po ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Sa panonood po natin ng uh, video na ito at uh, magkaroon tayo ng kaunting pagmumuli-muli at meditation sa salita ng ating Panginoon. At uh, Acts chapter 8 po tayo, verse 26, babasahin ko po sa inyo. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip. So again, Acts chapter 8 is the beginning of the persecutions. Uh, it was first led by the Apostle Paul, which is Shoal, prior to his uh, uh, meeting with the, the recent Christ on the road to Damascus. So, ito po yun, Acts chapter 8, the beginning of the persecution. So, in history, it's either the Jews persecuting the believers or the believers are the ones persecuting the Jews. So, it is, it, instead of being together in the faith, uh, they, uh, they parted ways. Kaya yung salitang Christian sa mga Hudyo is a uh, offending word for them because of the Inquisition, Spanish Inquisition, and because of the Crusades, and uh, later in history, Uh, we find also the Holocaust. So, whenever Christianity is mentioned with them, uh, and whenever one converts, and they believe that they have uh, betrayed their uh, their faith or their 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 identity as a Jew. So, the beginning of the persecution, this time by the religious leaders of the temple in, upon the beginning of this messianic movement, uh, the belief that Jesus Christ is accepted as the Messiah, uh, it is not a violation of the Shema, but rather the point is the Jew Jewish leaders would not really would not accept or would not really let go of their position because of the many perks that they can get from being leaders of the temple. So, verse 26, uh, again, the prominent fixture here is Philip, uh, one of the so-called beginning of the deacons, uh, the, the one that served tables while the apostles are devoted themselves to. Uh, reading of the word and, and to prayer. So, si Philip, isa siya, siya, isa siya doon. Probably siya yung leader ng mga uh, deacon na pinili. So, we read in verse 26, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise. Uh, angel of the Lord, uh, he may be referring to a messenger or um, uh, a spirit being. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, maybe it is a visible, visible or uh, identifiable unto Philip. That's why he obeyed the voice of the angel of the Lord. In the Old Testament, uh, it is equated, the angel of the Lord, it has been equated with uh, Jesus Christ. But we presume that Jesus Christ is in the heavens, seated on the right hand of God, and the Spirit of God is the one uh, active by this time. So what we find here, the term, it may be referring to a literal messenger of God, one of the spiritual beings that are unseen. 
And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. So probably this is a highway, a main road. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch. A eunuch could be a title or stature of, that, of this person being described here from Ethiopia. Probably he was a diaspora Jew going back after attending the feast of Passover, Shavuot. So he's going back to his own uh, place, Ethiopia, eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, uh, Africa, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. So this is a high stature high value person he could have been a we could not say that he is a a gentile or probably he is a convert or a god fearer yun yung tamang term ano po god fearer or he is a diaspora jew he is jewish went to jerusalem to celebrate the feast and he was returning and sitting in his chariot with Isaiah the prophet. So verse 28. So he was, because of his stature, he, has, uh, he is in charge of the treasure of the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. So he was, cool. he, was a, he was able to provide himself of a scroll of Isaiah. He was reading while he was traveling. And the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself. To this chariot so we may presume that uh, the, the angel of the lord the spirit here is visible uh, in human form taking a human form and giving instructions to philip and philip ran teeter to him and heard him read the prophet isaiah so because of the great stature of this man uh, he was able to have a scroll of isaiah and he was reading okay, during that time for you to possess such uh, value valuable scroll uh, it could be worth millions so that is how valuable is the scrolls the words of god during this time understand this thou what thou readest and he said how can i accept some man should guide me. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scriptures which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb down before his shearer, so he so opened he not his mouth. Verse 33 of chapter 8. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speakest the prophet? This, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus Christ. So we all know that the uh, prophet Isaiah prophesied much about uh, servant, referring to his servant Israel but the ultimate servant is the Lord Jesus Christ as we find here that upon reading that part uh, probably that's in Isaiah chap, uh, chapter 49 or chap, something like in, chap, in the later part of the of the writings of the prophet uh, the suffering servant uh, and he preached to him Jesus so Isaiah as interpreted here by Philip, was referring to the suffering servant, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, on his first coming, Messiah Ben David and Messiah Ben Joseph. Uh, as Joseph suffered, so Jesus Christ also, on his first coming, he suffered. So, Philip preached preach unto this Ethiopian eunuch about the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, 36, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, Here, see, here is water, what that hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So again, we find here the requirement and the performance of baptism. 
after a person realizes his need of Jesus Christ, Savior, then the outward visible action of that faith on Jesus Christ is you submit yourself into water baptism, uh, proclaiming that you are now in the league or you are now in the side of the Lord Jesus Christ. The death, burial, and resurrection uh, proclaiming not only to humanity but also to those that are the spiritual in rebellion proclaiming and telling them that one person again has is no longer under your control and power so that is the essence the importance and the significance of baptism mga kapatid and the commanded the chariot to stand still and they went down both into the water again baptism is immersion uh, a person baptizing another person is unique in this ministry started by John the Baptist. It is your visible uh, ritual action in taking that you are now proclaiming and telling not only humanity but also the spirit world that you are now dead in Christ but you resurrected also together with the Lord Jesus Christ. So that is how significant baptism is. Uh, the Utimian you know, understood all these things, submitted himself, bought into the water. That means immersion. And when they were come out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. So after, right after this baptism, while the Ethiopian eunuch was shaking the water off his face, then Philip was raptured, not into heaven, but Ruptured into snatch away into another place to do another task by uh, assigned to him by God. Uh, got away that the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing. Meaning, the Ethiopian eunuch he brought the gospel, the message of Jesus Christ in Africa, in Ethiopia. So, there would be many Ethiopian Jews. Uh, as brought about by this uh, eunuch. But Philip was found at Asotus and passing through the he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. Again, the meditation for us this day, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Messiah, ben, ben Joseph, he suffered uh, so that we can have salvation. He endured as the, as the prophet Isaiah foretold that he would be suffering on his first coming because he is the son of Joseph. Um, Messiah ben Joseph. Joseph the Old Testament. Who suffered in the hands. On the first coming, they did not... Uh, the, the, his, his, his brothers, brethren, when they went into Egypt, they did not recognize Joseph because he thought that he was an Egyptian. But the second time, his brothers went to Egypt. Joseph revealed himself. Just as in the story in the New Testament, Jesus Christ, his brethren on his first coming, did not recognize him as the Messiah. But the second time that Jesus Christ would come, which is very near in our times, we are in the most exciting times, that the Messiah would be coming anytime soon. And I pray and hope sa lahat ng mga nakakapanood nito na maabot ng video na ito ay ang kailangan natin gawin upang tayo makaiwas sa darating na wrath, outpouring of the wrath of God into this world, the evilness of this world, is to place our faith on the Messiah. Just as this Ethiopian eunuch <coughs> understood that the <coughs> first coming of the Messiah is suffered Siya'y naghirap para lamang tayo magkaroon ng kaligtasan. Bakit natin itong binabaliwala? Kaya ang utos sa atin, gaya ng sinot ni Apostol Pablo, He commands all men to repent and go back. All nations are now invited to go back to the worship of the one true God. So, after right after the salvation, the understanding of this man, the Ethiopian eunuch, he submitted himself into baptism. So not only that we believe that it's not a one-time, big-time act, but rather you continue on in the first step 
in proclaiming that you are now in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ is you submit yourself into water baptism. An evidence of true faith. Ano po? So, pag-isipan po natin at kung tayo na kay Kristo na salamat at nakatagpo na tayo ng kaligtasan, nagmagpatuloy tayo huwag po tayo manghina, manghinawa pagkos patuloy tayo maglingkod sa ating Diyos. Ano po? So, marami pong salamat at pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon. God bless us all.